All right. We'll now understand the concept of systems, the systems approach. Now, this is a concept originated in the 1960s, before you and I were born. It's a concept borrowed from physical sciences. The system is a set of interrelated and interdependent parts arranged in a manner that produces a unified whole. So we are all in a system. We are all interrelated and interdependent. For example, your human body is a system. Your eyes cannot function well without your brain. Your ears cannot function well without your heart. The school is a system. We teachers are useless if there are no students and vice versa. Your family is a system. You rely on your parents. Well, at least for now. So you see, we are all interrelated and interdependent. There are two types of systems. We have open systems. These are systems that dynamically interact with the environment. These are influenced by the external environment. All organizations are open systems. Like all of us, we are exposed to open systems. There's also closed systems. Now this is rare. Closed systems are systems that are not influenced or do not interact with the environment. Let me give you an example. Do you recognize this place? Have you been there? North Korea. I have not been there. It's hard to go there. There are a closed system. Nothing goes in there, nothing comes out from there. So if you have a chance, you have any opportunity to go there, then maybe try at your own risk. The organization is a system, an open system. Take a look at this diagram. In this diagram, we can see that there are three parts. So first we have the inputs. The inputs affect the process and the process in terms in turn will affect the output. Now the output has the power to provide feedback such that the input can make changes. Okay, so let me just go through it again. In a system, everything is interrelated be it the input, the process itself, or the output, they are interdependent. So perhaps I give you an example to illustrate this. I like to eat junk food. I eat things like ice cream, bubble tea, fast food. I like them. So that's something like my input. I take them into my body. All right, my body is the system. So my body, upon consuming the food, it goes through a process of transformation. In this case, it converts the food that I eat to become fats, maybe fats on my body. That's the output. Now, ideally, the fats, say the fats on my hips, should act as a feedback and change my input, change the way I eat. Uh, maybe I should eat less, or maybe I should eat healthier food. But sadly, my body isn't a perfect system like in this diagram. I still eat a lot of junk food. Oh, oh well. In a perfect system, the output should affect the input and enhance the whole process and organization. Moving on, a manager's job in an organizational system would be to coordinate and integrate the work activities of the various parts of the organization. So basically, a manager needs to ensure that the system is running. That's their job. Managers need to ensure that the inputs are good, the processes are right, 
and the output is good. The system should run smoothly as a whole. If it's not, then they have to do something about it. So a system is good, but what's the implication? Well, think, if everything's interdependent, then if something happens to, say, a small part of the system, it's going to affect the entire system. So coordination of the organization's parts is essential for, for proper functioning of the entire function. Decision and actions taken in one area will have an effect on other areas of the organization. In this case, a manager needs to take care of the whole system. They cannot afford to neglect any part of it. It's like you have to take care of every part of your body. If you neglect a small part, say your toe, it might affect the way you walk and that's gonna affect your entire body function. So that's a very important concept that the system is a whole unified thing that you have to look at and not in piecemeal. So do you think you can be a good manager? I hope so. It's certainly not easy, but we'll get there. All right, that's the end of the section. Do attempt your tutorials to better understand the, the topics covered. I'll see you.